Hi, and welcome back. In this quick start lesson, you'll learn how to work with media objects in Protopie, such as sound files, videos, and Lottie animations. We'll make a simple music app that has a moving background to accompany the song playback. Let's roll. Open the Pi file in Studio. Let's start with Scene 1. We have an audio file. See this box with the musical note icon? It lets you know you have a sound file added to your scene. It won't be visible when you preview your experience. We want the music to start playing when our scene starts. Add a start trigger and add a playback response. Select the sound file. Now let's configure the video to start with the scene as well. Add another playback response under the start trigger. This time, choose the layer named Video. Quick pro tip. Right now, both of our responses are named Playback. Let's rename each to tell them apart. One can be Play Music, and the other Play Video. If we preview, the music will start playing along with the background video. But wait, there's one small thing we need to fix. Notice how if we let the song continue to play, the video stops after about 11 seconds? To fix this, simply select Play Video response we just said earlier, and check the box beside Looping. Great! Now the video will restart from the beginning when it reaches the end. You might be wondering how else we can tinker with the playback. How about pausing and resuming our song? Expand the group named Function Buttons, go to the group named Play Pause. You'll see a layer named Play and another named Pause. The play layer's current opacity is set to zero, while the pause button is fully visible with an opacity set to 100. Add a tap trigger to the pause layer. Then add a playback response and select the layer with the sound file again. But this time, select the pause action. Add another playback response for the layer named video and choose the action pause. Like before, rename these buttons according to their functions. Moving on to resuming playback, let's add a couple more responses to our tap trigger. Add an opacity response to the pause layer and set the opacity to zero and a second opacity response to the play layer and set the opacity to 100. Another pro tip, when you turn the opacity of a layer to zero, it can no longer be interacted with. Essentially, we've disabled the tap action on the pause button by setting the opacity of the pause button to zero. Likewise, by making the play button visible, any triggers we associate with it become enabled. Add a tap trigger to the layer named play. Create all of the same responses as we did for the pause button, but with opposite configurations. Set the two playback responses to the play action. Set the opacity of the pause layer to 100 and the play layer to zero. Let's preview. Hit the pause button, then play. Hit pause. Our playback interaction works perfectly. Do you find the little icons a little too small to tap consistently? No problem. We can add a little bit of extra touch area to both the play and pause layers. Hold down command on Mac or control on Windows and select both the play and pause layers. Now we can adjust both of their touch areas to the same time. Let's add about 16 pixels of the touch area. Now what if you want to skip to another song? We've got you covered. Simply add a tap trigger to the skip forward layer. Add a jump response and jump to the scene named Song 2. You can choose any transition you like. I'll use Instant. Now, in the scene named Song 2, you can see that it is very similar to how the previous scene was laid out, but with two notable differences. First, the audio file is different, as we would expect because it is a different song. Second, the background video is different as well. Not only is it a different design, but it's also not even a video file at all. Instead, it's a Lottie animation. But this is not a problem for Protopie. We can use a playback response to work with Lottie animations in the same way we work with videos. So, let's set up this scene in exactly the same way we set up the first scene. Add a start trigger, add a playback response for the music file, and another playback response for the Lottie file. Don't forget to check the box beside looping for the Lottie file. Set up a tap trigger for the pause layer, 
and add playback responses to the music and Lottie layers with the pause action. Add an opacity response to the pause layer and set it to zero, and another opacity response to the play layer and set it to 100. Do the same for the play layer, but with all the opposite responses. And remember, for good practice, adjust the touch area for the play and pause layers. Lastly, we'll add a tap trigger to the skip back layer with a jump response to take us back to song one. Let's preview. Just about perfect, but we're not done yet. To make it a full music app experience, each time we jump to a new song, let's have the song start from the beginning. Very easy. In the response where we jump back to song one, choose Reset the Selected Scene. Don't see this option? That's because you've selected Smart as your transition. You need to choose any other transition to make this option available. Be sure to set the same option in the jump response in the first scene. Now each time you skip forward or back, the songs restart. And there you go! Media control for your audio, video, and Lottie animations are made super simple with Protopie. See you in the next one!